Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Chantel, this is my basic journey. And today's kind of boring. It's been a little boring the last month or so, which is why I haven't put up a video. My extension went through for the place I'm living at, so I no longer have to move out until November 20th. And so I've just been kind of chilling and making small little updates to my van, which I'll show you. But right now I'm just doing laundry. I'm at the laundry mat. We're just gonna be hanging out today. And I have Joey with me. Say hi, Joe. Oh, my little baby. Hi. <laughs> also, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a small update on what's going on and when I'm going to be moving into my van and all of that stuff. And so thank you for coming to today's video. It's not gonna be that exciting. In a couple weeks though, I do have a friend coming and visiting me from Illinois and I have like this mini road trip kind of planned out. So that will be an exciting video. This will be more of just an update video. I'm sorry that I have not been here the last like five weeks, but I promise I think about you guys every single day. <laughs> I just didn't know what to record like I never know like what to make a video about my life has been pretty boring I haven't been doing anything exciting besides going to work coming home and just hanging out with my dog Joey and that's it say hi Joe My first update was that I put this small book stand in here. I also added that net around it so that when I'm driving, the stuff doesn't fly all over the place. I just haven't found a good way to secure it, so I use bungee cords for now, but it does kind of shake around when I drive. If anybody has any ideas on how to make this more secure, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, it's just gonna be bungee corded. It hasn't fallen over yet, so that's a good sign. I guess the only thing I'm worried about is that when I have my breakable stuff on it, if it was to fall over and everything was to break. However, nothing I have is like worth that much money, and so I'm not gonna be too worried about it. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas of how to secure it down. I was thinking like maybe I could screw into the plastic siding that's there. Um, I just don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. So let me know if you have any ideas. Besides the bookshelf, I don't have that many new additions to the van as far as a build. The build is actually done. Like I don't have to do anything else to the build to make it livable. Now I'm just adding small things like storage bins and small little things like that which are gonna help make it easier to live in here. Other than that, nothing else is new. I'm sorry guys, like my life is not that exciting. I was kind of like hoping that if I started to make YouTube videos, ideas would just come to me every single week and it would be, you know, easy. I would take you guys grocery shopping and it would be so much fun. However, I've already done a couple grocery haul videos. I'm not going, you know, like, my daily life is not that exciting. It's going to get a lot more exciting in a couple weeks when my friend comes out here from Illinois and we do a little road trip. I will be recording it. You guys won't be missing out on anything. It'll actually be the first time that I sleep in my van and I'm not really sure how we're gonna do it. If I'm going to set up a tent for her or if I'm gonna try and like maybe like sleep in the front seat for a couple days. We're not going to be in the van that much. It'll be more exploring and hiking and just being outdoors, but we will need somewhere to sleep. I'm also going to be using the iOverlander app for the first time. I have the app installed and I've looked at it a bunch. However, I have never gone to a place that is listed on iOverlander and stayed there. So I'm really excited to like check out some of the places that are close to me. I live in an area with a pretty high homeless population and a large population of addicts. So a lot of the places that are really close to Eugene are kind of destroyed by people who leave them really dirty and disgusting with garbage and needles. So. I'm gonna try and take myself to ones that are kind of further out. I wanna bring my friend to the hot springs around here and I kinda wanna show her around Mount Hood. I wanna take her to the coast and we'll see what my budget actually allows us to do. Overall, I'm just really excited to see her. I miss her so much. Caitlin, if you're watching this, I cannot wait. We only have like a week left, so I can't wait to see you. Oh my God. Also, I'm sorry I kind of look like trash today. It's my day off and I wasn't planning on recording this, but it's been so long without me making a video that I was like, 
F it. Just freaking do it. It's kind of a mess in here right now, but I kind of wanted to show you guys. I did get this new water bottle. It's a three gallon water jug, and then I just got this pump thing to pump the water out of it. I thought that would be easier. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. I'll let you guys know after I've actually used it a couple times. Around here, you can get a gallon of water for about 25 to 40 cents. And so I thought that would be pretty easy. Also, here's a closer look at the bookshelf that I have. It is just a bookshelf that I already previously had. And then I added these nets on here by screwing in these screws. It's just a net that you would get for like the back of your car. <laughs> it works, I don't know. And then I just use little bungee cords and attach them to random places so that I can make it stay up and not fall over. However, it does kind of like wobble a little. And I was thinking maybe if I just put something underneath here, it won't have that wobbly effect. I don't know, I'm still working out the kinks, but that's what is working for now. While I was waiting, I figured that I would clean up a bit, and so I do have some armor all wipes. Uh, these are not the most eco-friendly thing you can do to clean your car. However, they were on sale at Walmart, and so I did get them. Please don't hate me, internet. <laughs> So now that I've cleaned out the trash, my floors are really gross. I'm actually gonna try and use my new mini vacuum cleaner that I got. I'm excited to show you guys if it actually works. Let me try it. All right, so I got this bad boy plugged in here. Moment of truth. Ooh. Yeah, it works. It's better than paying, you know, a dollar or whatever it is for these freaking vacuum machines. This little thing's actually working pretty good. I'm pretty proud of it for being a tiny little vacuum cleaner. Okay, so I just finished getting my laundry. It's all done here. And now, actually, a neighborly friend over there, if you can see him, asked me if I could give him a jump. So now I'm having that guy jump his car real quick. Glad I could be of help. I've been there. If you see this little piece of plastic here, I broke a little piece off of my vacuum. I couldn't get the top back on after I emptied it. I'm back in my apartment now and I kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of the storage. This is also the little piece I broke off of this. Came off of the back side right there. I don't know. And that little piece looks like it broke off. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I already broke it, but I mean, I'm sure it'll still work. I don't know. It's a cute little thing and it works pretty good. So I wanted to show you guys too what I did for storage. I got these bins underneath here that I was gonna put my clothes in and they'll fit just perfectly under here. Um, I was just gonna do one on each, but then I could have this whole side for just like random ass storage that doesn't fit in my roof storage. And so I got those. I also have this thing which I showed you, but it's finally up now. And then on my bookshelf, I got a bunch of little tubs like that and that. And then under here, you can't really see it, but I have another tub too. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Just like a mini update video and cleaning my car and doing my laundry, which is what I do normally on my days off. Um, the only thing I didn't do was grocery shop, but I feel like I've already done a couple grocery haul videos, so I'm not going to bore you guys with that again. Not until it's like grocery shopping for the van or something. <laughs> so thanks again for watching this video, and stay tuned because in a couple weeks I will be going on a road trip. It's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks again for watching this video. Be sure if you like it to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. <laughs> Say bye to everybody, Joey. <laughs> Okay, bye!